Some private health care institutions have pledged their support to the federal government by domesticating the patents, uh, the patient's bill of rights uh, at their various health care facilities. The Director General of the Consumer Protection Council, Babatunde Irukera, confirmed this during his visit to some health care facilities in Abuja to flag up the domestication of the patient bill of rights. He says this bill is sure to bring a good number of reforms to Nigeria's healthcare system and urged other healthcare institutions who are yet to adopt this bill to promptly do so. It doesn't matter how great a hospital looks, how many beds and how well equipped it is, or how well trained the professionals are. In the absence of the appropriate treatment and compassion, in the absence of confidence in the system by patients, then there's still a big piece that is lacking. And that's what the Patients' Bill of Rights was conceptualized to address. And gratefully, it is doing that. Uh, what you're seeing now are hospitals that have invited the CPC by themselves to domesticate it. And so beyond the campaign, what they are doing is they're taking this document and saying that this is becoming our own code. This is becoming our own internal standard of operation. It is only a patient who is alive that will be able to pay the bills. So it is not proper to put bills before looking after the patient. And that is one concept that has been propagated right from the onset of this establishment. This um, message that you want to take around this country, we will continue to support you in whatever capacity we, we should. We hereby announce our support for and throw our weight behind this piece of document, which every hospital should be very mindful of. It represents the minimum standard of interaction between the patients and healthcare givers. Thus, I urge every Nigerian to read and understand the content of the Bill of Rights in order to be able to demand for such rights at any time and hold hospitals and healthcare institutions accountable for professionalism and best practices.